In this video, we're looking at the idea of a reference angle and reference angles. So, what we're going to do is we're going to let theta be an angle in standard position. Again, standard position is where our initial sign is lying on the x axis, okay, and going toward positive infinity. Now, the reference angle here in blue, or theta prime, okay, theta prime, is the acute, big emphasis there, acute angle formed with the horizontal axes. Okay? So here I've got example one, two, three. And we're just going to identify the reference angle theta prime. Okay? So here looking in our first piece here, we've got a theta that's reaching from our initial side of the positive x axis all the way around to our terminal side here in quadrant 2. Now, again, what we're always going to be wanting to look for is the acute angle formed with that horizontal axis. Okay? So, here's the horizontal. The only angle that's going to be acute is this angle here, this theta prime. Okay? The other angle is not acute, and in fact, it's also theta itself. Okay? Now, over here we've got a theta that reaches all the way into quadrant number three. Again, we're looking for the acute angle formed with our horizontal. So here at the horizontal, the only angle that is acute is this piece right here, theta prime. And lastly, over here, we've got a theta that reaches all the way around to quadrant number four. And here, our acute angle, maybe you can see it. I'll give you a moment to think about where it is. Write down your guess. Hope you picked it right, because theta prime is our acute angle that's formed with the positive x-axis here. This is theta prime. We'll be taking more of a look at theta prime and its reference angle possibilities in these next few videos.